Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another edition of Wordle with Art. And we are ready to start our second challenge for the April Wordle Challenge with Art. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit tougher than yesterday. I could see that almost all of you succeeded on Prank Fools. I was super impressed. Uh, very good job. Very good job, guys. A lot of you got it in uh, four and a few in five like me. Remember, all you have to do is just get the correct Wordle and do the correct um, challenge, okay? That's all it takes. It doesn't matter if it even took you six guesses, as long as you didn't fail, and as long as you did obey the guidelines for the challenge, you got yourself that full point. Great job. And we will probably do updates on the challenge, maybe like weekly. It'll be a lot easier for me because I'm literally just keeping track of like one if you got it, zero if you didn't. So it's much easier. All right, now today's is going to be a little bit harder. I'm going to say that this is probably... Uh, I would say this is a 4 out of 10, okay? This one I'm quite nervous about. This could easily be a streak ender if you're not careful um, because, in effect, you're you're using a lot of unnecessary letters thanks to these palindromes, all right, guys? So here we go. Now, the, I gave this some serious thought, and the way I think I'm going to do it, believe it or not, this is going to seem like deja vu, but I'm going to start with slate. Here's my thinking. Because two of the very common uh, second word recommendations happen to be palindromes. So when the L and the E are yellow, which happens a fair amount, you get level. And when the T and the E are yellow, you go with tenet, okay? And on top of that, I just figure, hey, let's sort of just kind of like get a lay of the land because Slate really does strip down the database immensely. Because um, the fewer words I have to deal with, the better. So let's keep our fingers crossed. I'm actually very nervous um, and let's see what we got. All right. Well, as luck would have it, we have, oh, geez, we have one of my favorite situations. Oh, I hate these S words. All right. Now we have to really think about this. Oh, goodness. Now the tenet is going to be, oh, the tenet is, is horrible here. This is actually going to be very tough. This is going to be very tough. All right. Now, yeah, the tenet is lousy. You know, it's funny. I think maybe civic would be the better palindrome to use here. Tenet is lousy. I mean, the chances are pretty strong that we're going to go, uh, oh boy, what would this word be? Uh, I mean, tenet is lousy because you know it's not going to begin with T. I mean, it could end in T and there could be an N. So I might go civic tenet. I, I mean, radar would be another interesting one. Uh, kayak is sort of interesting because of the K. I mean, so I have a few options, but let's start with civic. Ooh, all right. So we do have a C. All right. I still have to put in one more palindrome, guys. And I don't think this answer is going to be a palindrome today. So this is going to be an interesting one. I think the strategy is you have to first figure out what is the word going to be. Um, so that you know you can safely get it in a certain number of guesses and then just throw in that bonus palindrome and hope that we we get it um, within the sixth guess. All right, now what are my options? So uh, one option I see is stock, which we haven't had yet, okay? The, the New York Stock Exchange is the first thing that comes to mind. All right, so stock is looking great. Stock is really looking great, actually. Um, in fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the right word. In fact, guys, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to go with my second palindrome. Um, I, I should just double check that this isn't a trap. It really doesn't look like it because it's stock uh, is, a, is an excellent guess. It's not scant. Um, it's not stick. It could be scout. Okay, it could be scout. So we've got scout and stock. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, scout and stock. So let's just go with kayak because then that will, um, let me think. Yeah, that'll tell me most likely if it's stock. It's not. Okay. Oh, it is. Ha. Huh. Yes, of course. The rules of uh, Wordle kick in. You wouldn't have a yellow K there. It would have to end in the K. Oh, man, I think this is going to work out great, guys. So here we go. There they are, civic and kayak. There's my two palindromes. Did we get this in four? Yes, that's a hell, guys. That's a hell. That's a good one. Oh, man. I love it. That was great. Very well played. Very well played. I was extremely nervous about this one, um, but I think we played that absolutely brilliantly. 
I don't think that too many people are going to be able to get it in three. Um, not that that really matters, but I mean, there is a certain amount of pride to get that in four when you literally consumed two rows with terrible palindromes, but in effect, they were actually quite good in this case because they definitely revealed the word. Well, there you have it, guys. That was pretty cool. I hope you find this exciting as I do. This is super fun because every single time we play this, your streak is on the line. It really is. All right. Um, so now the next step, of course, is we got to announce tomorrow's challenge, okay? So let's clear the screen, and I'm going to insert um, the challenge and um, give you guys a few examples. I think that helps so that it's super clear what we're looking for. So that's out of the way, and here we go, guys. Okay, so this is a cool one. I'm going to actually give uh, the Bonehead 1997 a little bit of credit for this. Uh, I also did think of this one, but just the fact that he came up with it as well is awesome. Uh, and I have a cute little title for the challenge. It's going to be High Scrabble Tiles. Okay, so for those of you who are Scrabble lovers, I'm not really a lover of the game, but I definitely enjoy it from time to time. Uh, as you might know, the four highest um, tiles are the J, the Q, the X, and the Z. The J and the Q, I think, are both... Oh, no, the J and the X are both worth eight points in Scrabble. And the Z and the Q are worth 10. All right. Why is that? Because they are very, very tricky letters. Very few words have them. So that if you can even figure out a way to introduce them into one of the words, you deserve a lot of points. And that is going to be the theme for tomorrow's challenge for Wordle number 653 um, for uh, Monday, April 3rd. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that in your solution path, those four letters appear at least once. If you want to use them, you know, even more than that, be my guest, okay? Uh, so a word does not have to have more than one of them, uh, even though you could potentially come up with a word that has two of them, that's fine. The bottom line is I need to see those four letters within your rows of guesses, the J, the Q, the X, and the Z. If you have all four of those letters in there, and of course, one of those letters could be included in the solution, that's totally fine, and you solved it within the six guesses, yes, you got another point, all right? So I'm looking forward to it. Um, I hope these examples make sense. And always, guys, if you're not 100% sure about what to do for the challenge, uh, just throw your um, throw a question in the comments, and I'll be sure to reply, right? Because right now, you're giving me your solutions for today's challenge, which I think was super fun. Wow, I can't believe we did it. We got two palindromes in there and got the answer in four. That is insane. All right, guys. Well, I hope you're enjoying this challenge as much as I am. I can't wait to uh, get you the results video for March, hopefully in a few more days. I can't wait to show you what the prize will be for the winner of the April challenge. I think it's going to be just an awesome uh, apparel accessory that you can show off in front of all your friends um, and they'll be like, oh my gosh, that's such a cool hoodie, man. I love Wordle. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. All right, guys. Well, on that in mind, I hope you have a great day. And of course, I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow with yet another edition of Wordle with Art.